It is time to take a second look at some of my favorite moments from this past week in the hockey world. From interesting warm-ups to angry goalies, we almost got a goalie fight this week, to polite refs. Go to the box, please. Go to the box, please. And frisky refs. And of course, we got the great bobblehead heist. So with plenty to cover, let's get to it. Well, we have Conor McMichael and uh, Henrik Lapierre in different lines, so we're good. They were, in fact, not good, as McDavid also gave us a friendly reminder that he is faster than, well, everyone. Then, how about his former teammate Kuznetsov, with his first as a cane, brought the eagle to Carolina. What was really cool, though, was the entire team after the game doing his selly. Well, except for Gensel, and I'll take whatever I can as a Penguins fan. Farewell, my young prince. Then we'll head over to Tampa where Lindgren, with a huge hit on DeClaire, sent his stick flying into the crowd. A bone-crushing hit, and yeah, with a stick flying over the glass, this guy was nice enough to even give it back. Good stuff. From here, how about a little ref appreciation? In St. Louis, they did just that with all of these fans showing their love. So in the spirit of that, let's take a look at what the refs were up to this week. After Delandria and Lazant wrestled each other down, the official gave a butt taps then we got bedard kindly asking this linesman to move you guys feel like get out of the way a little bit and in Vancouver, it was the ref kindly asking Hughes to go to the box. Go to the box, please. Go to the box, please. <laughs> and then finally, back in Tampa, this linesman made absolutely certain that Lomberg wasn't getting into the action. And this came after earlier in the game, it was Lomberg and Radish getting tied up as a fan shared a little popcorn with Lomberg. Such kind fans in Tampa. Moving on from the officials and their butt taps how about tj oshi and his he's got this warm-up routine he does with wilson but this time playing in his 1000th game the entire squad lined up to do the same try explaining this to a non-hockey fan montreal's jack eye and Gooley also showed off their warm-up routine just again unique to the hockey world no doubt then how about this after the red wings Sherratt and raymond got into it with each other in practice the next game it was actually Sherratt coming Coming to the defense of Raymond, as both would get a seat in the box together. You know what they say, what happens in practice stays in practice. Then running through a few quick ones, we had Nishushkin score the OT winner off his bucket and in in Vancouver. We got Flurry getting called for high sticking? Not something you see called on a goalie every day. And did he mean it? I don't know. We got Claude Giroux casually winding it up in the shootout for the win. You know, just rock star things. Not so rock star was Freddie Gaudreau attempting the Datsuk from the goal line. Oof, bit of a tough look there, but maybe not as tough as whatever the hell Subban was wearing yesterday. What are these pants? And finally, Decord with the giveaway and the goal. Safe to say, this did not go Decording to plan. <laughs> His buddy Grubauer seemed to take some anger out on his behalf, though, as note to self, do not get in the vicinity of Grubauer, apparently. And the goalies were angry, so much so that we almost got ourselves a goalie fight in Chicago. Mrazek getting himself involved meant the outnumbered Ducks needed backup with Gibson crossing center ice, but no dice, the Zebras wouldn't have it. Now, with that said, last week, we actually almost got Swayman ready for Wall, and while he didn't oblige, this this week, Swayman figured maybe he should make sure he was ready first anyway, getting some lessons from Frederick. And this video is getting long, but you guys said you don't mind it, so I'm gonna keep going. Matt Roy let us in on what the vibes are like after a win. You got a bunch of idiots in there dancing around and <laughs> doing their thing, so it's fun. And I had to wonder what kind of dancing? Maybe like Jarvis here? Or more like Dowdy was on the bench after being up 5-0 to Chicago. Over in Edmonton after Vander Kane kind of called it in warm-ups. Hopefully we can reward him uh, tonight with a goal against his old team. 
Connor Brown from Kane scored his first of the season, and the reaction from Edmonton fans was special. A lengthy standing O as hats were even raining down. Just what a reaction for his first goal of the season. And then over in Pittsburgh, while we were supposed to have Yager bobblehead night, they announced there had been a heist with thousands of bobbleheads stolen. So who better than Yager himself to get down to who was responsible? Results are still pending, but during the game, check out this fan's t-shirt. Then over in Columbus, we got hilarious footage of how the Sharks goalies had to get from dressing room to ice at Nationwide Arena. There had been a concert the night before, and so the ice house rink was a bit of a walk. Well, unless you were a goalie, of course. Why am I going back? You know, you could get off now. I could. Well, why would I? Exactly. I have, you, I have you booked for 2 o'clock, correct? Then in Seattle, they needed just 20 seconds. But after a complete meltdown as the Golden Knights would take it in overtime, Seattle sticks went flying. Bjorkstrand, that is not a happy man. Speaking of sticks though, look at this unbelievable sequence as three out of four guys on the Flyers were left without a stick. And as you'd maybe expect, the Leafs took full advantage. But man, I don't know if I have ever seen a sequence quite like this before. Over in Ottawa, after Latang and Matthew Joseph got into it, this was the reaction of Joseph's parents. Now why? Because his brother P.O. Joseph lives with Latang. That might have been an awkward flight home. Some more quick ones, it's St. Patrick's week, so Braden Point's hat trick meant this leprechaun was working overtime. The Smith in Vancouver had the lay down and pray technique down. Kus Nadinov, making his NHL debut, had a good game and got applause for his effort. What did you think when you got on the ice and the fans cheered when you won the back-to-back face-offs? It's crazy. <laughs> uh, to face-off? Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> And finally, to finish, how about a good story? Landon Slager making his NHL debut while he forgot the pucks, which meant he didn't have a puck to shoot. What he did have was 40 friends and family members in attendance. 40 people? I don't even think I know 40 people. And they stayed around after the game to give him a standing O. Just awesome stuff. And so, with ESPN changing the audio of their commercial break to this... I'll say thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. And let's bid farewell to the legendary live sports. Shut up, guys. Shut up. Please shut up. Stop. I shut up. Sports. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Hey. ESPN Plus.